what's up you guys if you're going to be towing a trailer with your jeep liberty you got to have trailer wiring installed come on let's go ahead and break down this install for you you will need the tool seam here to complete this installation okay so our wiring is going to have four attachment points on the vehicle one behind each tail light um, a ground wire mounted to the body and then a wire ran to the battery at the front of the vehicle. Let's get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and start by taking the driver's side tail the motor with the 10 millimeter socket here. If it doesn't pop right out for you, then we'll need to get a trim tool and just kind of wedge it out. Go ahead and turn this light around. You can see that uh, this is where our 10 millimeter screws were holding it in, and then these are body plugs that were plugged in here and here. Next step is going to be to remove this connector here. We're going to press this button down and just pull straight out. Might have a little bit of corrosion in there, so we'll wiggle it around until she comes out. There we go. We'll go ahead and just set this light aside. Okay, now we're ready to get our uh, aftermarket wiring connector and round it underneath and get it plugged in here. Okay, so now I have the drill motor again with a quarter inch uh, driver on it. Go ahead and make our mark here and drill right into it. Okay, our ground is made. Now we can go ahead and continue on to the next step. Now that we have our ground made, we're gonna go ahead and get the telite connector, plug it back in, and get it back on the vehicle here. Slips right in. Go ahead and line up our body plugs there. and just simply tap it back into place. Okay, now we're ready to do the same on the passenger side. We just need to get the provided wire ran over there. And I'll go ahead and show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're underneath the driver's side taillight here. And again, we're, we need to get this green wire with the connector over to the passenger side. Um, you basically just want to avoid any moving or hot parts and you want to keep it tucked up so it looks nice and professional. So use as much zip ties as you can. So basically I'm just going to go over the installed hitch here. And this will be a connection point right around here for my zip ties and then as well as this hole here. So I'll just kind of route it this way. And then I do have several holes already in the body over here that I can put zip ties to, so I'll go ahead and place one there. Go ahead and continue on.
back together. Line it up. Tap it into place. Put our screws back in and we're done with that side. Okay, we're done there. Okay, so we're back underneath the driver's side tail light here. Um, our next step is to run the provided wire to the battery. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can run it from front to back or back to front. Today I'm gonna to be doing from back to front. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unwinding this and make our connections right at the converter box here. We're using the yellow buck connector that's provided as well. nice and tight so now basically all we got to do is get this wire all the way to the battery that's underneath the hood um, as you're running the wire underneath the vehicle you, again you want to avoid moving parts you want to avoid hot parts um, and you also want your job to look professional so you want to keep it tucked up and, and follow existing lines like brake lines or um, wiring harnesses that, that go up to the front there so let's go ahead and get started Okay, before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and tape up our connection here. Just using black electrical tape. Okay, we're ready to continue on up further towards the front of the vehicle. Okay, so now I have our wire um, ran next to the filler hose for the fuel tank. Um, I, I have a few different options that I can go to from here. I can go down the, follow the lines of the filler hose and then find my way to the brake lines that, which lead all the way up to the battery there. Um, or I can go inside the frame and then just kind of run it down the frame and come out uh, the bottom there. I, I, I like the frame idea so what I did is I took some heavy gauge wire here and I pushed it through the frame and I ended up down at the bottom. Uh, towards the middle of the vehicle and then what I'll do is I'll just tape the ends here and then pull it out of the frame and fish wire it down through the frame and come out there um, that, that'll make the job a lot cleaner and safer so go ahead and do that okay now you can see that we've got our wire pulled through here I'm gonna go ahead and just finish pulling it all all the slack out through the slack pulled through the frame. We don't need our fish wire at this moment any longer, so I'll go ahead and take it off. Okay, so now I'm, I come out right in front of the and gas tank right here, front of the field tank, right here, on the inside of the, the frame inside here, on the, the brake lines. lines. So I'm just going to go gonna right go up to the brake lines, lines and continue up forward, and just follow those brake lines until I get to the top of the engine compartment next to the battery. here is right above the exhaust and a, a drive shaft here. The drive shaft does spin and the exhaust does get hot and the brake lines go above them and then come out uh, below the firewall here and straight up to the engine compartment. So again I'm just reaching up and following the brake lines to avoid 
any of these moving and hot parts. Along some of these brake lines here, they, they have wrapped them with some heat protectant shield. So I went through that shield. Um, now I'm coming out right here and we're right at the base of the firewall. So from here, we need to go straight up. And a good way to do that is just run again, some thick wire, heavy gauge wire. Um, you can call it pull wire, fish wire. You push it down from the top of the engine compartment you end up pretty close to where you've run your wire. You can tape it up and then just pull it straight up. So we're gonna go ahead and do now. Okay, so we're ready to take our, our pull wire or fish wire and run it straight down. Um, before we do that, I'll talk a couple about a couple things about the components here. Um, here's our battery where we need to connect it to. Here's our brake reservoir where all of our brake lines come up to. Um, again, brake lines are a good Good way to go because the, the vehicle manufacturer has already determined this is the best route for going underneath the vehicle. Um, one thing you do want to avoid as you're going down is this steering arm here. That does move, so um, you don't want to be touching it or wrapped around it as we're running our wire. Okay, so this is where our pull wire came down right next to our battery wire that we're running. So again, we'll just tape the two ends together, go back up in front and just pull straight up. Okay, so we're back at the engine compartment. We've got our wire connected. Now we're just pulling up and there it is. And we'll just go ahead and continue pulling until we get all the slack pulled out. There we go, and I'll leave a little bit of slack so I can uh, maneuver around that steering arm. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take some zip ties and, and zip tie them to the brake lines to keep them secure and not moving around or loose or dangling where they can get uh, burned or caught up on any moving parts. zip tie keeping it away from the steering arm and we'll go ahead and just keep moving forward until we get to the battery here. Okay and you can see that there's this big thick existing harness that runs to the front here right up to the positive terminal so that's that's the route that I'm going to follow up. I'm just going to kind of place my wire there and I'll go back and Put some zip ties every six inches here. Okay, and now we're ready to take the provided hardware and attach it to the positive side of the battery here. Okay, so the provided hardware is going to be a red wire with an inline fuse here, and that's what we're going to be attaching to the positive side of the battery, and we'll be doing that using a butt connector and an uh, eyelet here. So we'll go ahead and start by taking that sheath off. We'll put the eyelet on here. And just to make it look professional, I'm going to go ahead and come underneath and follow the existing wiring here. Okay, we'll touch that right there. And the other end of the wire, it's going to go to the wire that we ran. You can see we got a bit extra here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off.
for butt connector. Put that on there. The other end of our red wire here. We made it up with the connector. Okay, now we're ready to connect it to the positive side of the battery. Um, you can see that there's a couple uh, connection points here. We can use this nut or this nut. I'm gonna go ahead and use this accessory nut. It's a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. battery connection made. Now we can go ahead and just put our cap back on. And then we'll go ahead and clean up the inline fuse with uh, some tape and some zip ties and then we'll put the fuse in. Okay, we've got our connectors taped up. We'll go ahead and take the provided 10 amp fuse, put it in the fuse holder. And now your four flat is powered and ready to tow. Go ahead and put our cover over the fuse. And now we're gonna go ahead and just go up from front to back, cleaning everything up. Um, again, we, we want this to look really professional and make it look like it fits. So we're gonna take our time and use a lot of zip ties and tape if necessary. Okay, that looks really good under the engine compartment. I'll go ahead and go underneath and then work my way back zip tying up to the brake lines. Okay, and before I finish cleaning up in this area right below the driver's side tail light, I'm gonna go ahead and route the four flat here, terminating end that will be plugging into your trailer. We'll go ahead and route that to the center of the rear of the vehicle and get it mounted for you. Okay, so again, we're gonna run our four flat to the center of the vehicle here in the rear. Um, it, it's a good idea to spend a couple extra dollars to go ahead and get a four flat bracket and then just mount it to the bottom of your bumper. Um, that looks really clean and really professional. Um, a lot better than just wrapping your wires around the hitch or the, or the safety chain loops here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, so we're just gonna find a suitable spot here, make it pretty level, and just drill a couple of holes in the bottom of the bumper. Real simple. put some hardware through there and use the bracket as a template. So I'm just going to take our provided bolt here, screw, just push it through the top. And line it up here. Get our provided nut on the back of it. 
Okay, now I can use the bracket as a template to get the other side drilled. Again, we're just trying to make it look neat and level. Okay, and these nuts can be tightened down with a 3-8 socket or 3-8 wrench. I'll, I'll be using a wrench today. Okay, perfect. Now we'll go ahead and just route our wire over to it. We'll stay up as high as we can until we get to the bracket. Um, I've already ran wire uh, for the converter box to go over to the passenger side, so I'm just going to follow that guy. I'm going to loop it around and then zip tie to it, clean it up once I get it plugged in here. Okay, we're going to take the dust cover off. We're just going to push it through. It's got two little grooves that will just snap right into the bracket, just like that. We're going to put our dust cover back on, and it's ready to tow. Now we'll just go ahead and clean up the rest of our wires here. You can see we have a few, uh, several feet of wire just kind of dangling there. So we'll fold it all up, make it look real nice and neat for you. I think I'm out of zip ties again. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just cut the ends off of our zip ties and we're ready to go. Okay, and that's it for our trailer wiring harness video for the uh, Jeep Liberty. Thanks for watching, have fun, be safe, enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.